What's up, everybody? Doc Simon here. Hope you're doing great. Welcome to yet another Doc Simon Homes property tour. Today, I'm here to show you this beautifully designed and built four bedroom detached house right here inside one of Ghana's prime area. I drain Ghana to be precise. So, you've got three of them situated or nested in this beautiful neighborhood of Dringano. So these houses are situated on an equal lot size, 35 feet by 100 feet lot size. Before we go inside to show you what is inside this building, you know what we do? We're gonna do a perimeter walkthrough around the compound. So you technically understand what this house is got for us. Now let's get started. Driving through this motorized sliding gate, you are all shared into this particular building and one of the first thing that actually embraces you is this beautifully designed facade of this four bedroom more than house aside that you're also ushered to its spacious compound now just opposite the facade of this building you have a uh, stamp concrete okay which can actually take about one car and then on the left wing of the property you have this long you know driveway that actually ends here and follow through with a patch of greenery or perhaps a garden you've got a spacious garden area commanding ample space on this stretch you've got about 70 feet and you've also got about 30 feet so that's how spacious it is now if you're a fan of swimming pool you can actually have about 10 feet by 20 feet swimming pool and you're technically still going to have ample space to do one or two things you could even do a barbecue stand a summer hut or any of those things that would actually make you enjoy this property now on this side is the backyard area so you still got the patch of greenery still continuing all the way to the backyard area one of the things i love so much is the centralized external air conditioned unit all packed and stored here so you don't have them at the side of the building and that's a very thoughtful thing now you've got your water heater system uh here on the outside as well you also have one at the top there just to power up the whole entire house so you've got the left wing of the property and right here you've got the boys quarters or your maid quarters or your helpers quarters right there so that's the door that leads you to the helpers quarters and this second door on this side is actually the second exit door from the kitchen that brings you to the back of the house and then you could have this here you know to house or put your laundry things of course your washing machine or perhaps your dishwasher or any of those things that will make you enjoy the premises let's continue our tour we're still continue our tour so right here you've got this door okay this wooden beautiful polished door actually opening up to the main entrance of the house now come let me show you what is in here so opening up this door okay you're welcome to the foyer area where you have this beautiful piece of art on this wall and then on this end actually ushers you or brings you to the living room area so you've got about uh technically about 45 meter square living area and that is quite spacious slash your dining space so you've got here to be your dining area you have six seat dining space okay and then talking about the living area you realize that you can see that you have ample window um openings right here so you've got a very tall window here it's fixed of course you also have two windows on this side and you also have another window on this side bringing in tons of natural daylight into the premises i love the fact that everything here is white white tender strike uh, towels you also have a beautiful um, drop down of ceiling plaster of paris with recess light and of course this beautiful fan right in the middle and one of the things i like and i think i must add it is the combination of the towels which of course practically you know complement itself if you look on the floor area you have um uh, uh, a 120 by 60 tender strike towel and on the wall you've got a black 60 by 60 tender, tender strike towel as well and they are basically complementing each other now this area serves as your entertainment area and that is that is very beautiful i love the fact that everything complements itself so now let's continue our tour so i get to show you the rest of the uh, of the building now up straight ahead is one of the bedrooms that's actually situated 
on the ground level. Of course, you can use that as your guest room and all that. Now on this side, you've got this door opening up to your kitchen space, okay? You've got quite an ample kitchen space. You've got a fully fitted kitchen with all the kitchen appliances. That would make you have a very amazing cooking experience. Now for somebody like me, who knows how to cook, of course, I love everything here. I don't know how to cook, I'm just joking. <laughs> so you've got your oven here, you've got your microwave, and an inbuilt refrigerator right here, okay? And I think it's cool. I mean, it's cool to always, you know, have that because it keeps your kitchen space pretty simple. Now, we've got this wooden polished brown door as your second exit door. That takes you to the backyard area, just in case you're cooking heavy meal, you're pounding your cooker and all that, you can use that door. Now, we've also got this door opening up to your pantry or your storeroom. Quite spacious, right, for a storeroom. That's technically about um, five meters square. Now, let's continue our tour to the rest of the property. Now, on this area, let me show you the powder room. Now, on this area, you've got this um, translucent glass door opening up to your um, powder room, right? Now let's continue our tour. So this is the bedroom one on the ground level. Like I said earlier, you can use this bedroom as your guest bedroom, your helper's bedroom, or maybe for the aged who cannot actually climb the staircase and all that. So you've got about 15.5 meters square bedroom area everything here is quite simple i mean i just love the idea of this ceiling okay i mean this is the first time i'm seeing something like this i mean the idea is beautiful i must i must acknowledge and you know you've got two ample window space that brings you enough daylight into the premises and of course you've also got this glass door okay that opens up to your bathroom area as well you, where you have your vanity basin your wc your enclosed shower you know very beautiful and one thing i like about this bathroom area is that you've got um a led light just all around the mirror of the vanity basin and that's a very beautiful thing i like it now let's continue our talk to the rest of the property wow nice you also have a touch of the black tender strike 60 by 60 floor tile right here with um a silver railing balustrade with a wooden you know hand rail that actually takes you all the way to the first level and of course i must acknowledge the fact that i love the idea of this recess light on the stairway that actually takes you to the top now let's continue our tour guys so i get to show you the most fun part of this building so climbing up the staircase, you're also to the landing area, which of course is your family area or your, you know, your secondary living area, of course. And it's very spacious. I think the space alone is commanding about um, 15 meters square thereabout. And one of the things that I like, and I, you know, you hardly see these things, is a simple kitchenette that you've got on the first level area. Of course, you have your microwave and of course you have your your you know your sink right there and that's very thoughtful very very thoughtful and beautiful you can actually also get to do your cooking right here i mean not necessarily your cooking i'm warming your food eating it cleaning up your dishes and all of that and getting to store one of your i mean some of your foodstuffs without necessarily having to go down there and just like I opened up this refrigerator, refrigerator right on the base cabinet area, that's very thoughtful. Now, up on this level, you've got your two standard bedrooms. All right, we're going to check one of these. So, opening up this beautiful internal door, you're also to one of, no, bedroom two on the first level, okay? Technically the same space as the one we taught on the ground level, which I told you could be used as your guest room or a room for the aged, the same space. Now you've got your inbuilt wardrobe up on this end and then I love the fact that you have it. Almost panning from floor to ceiling. You've also got the same, you know, ceiling pattern, 
ceiling design, which is quite thoughtful. I like it. The same positioning of window. And then up on this area, you've got your, you know, your translucent door, glass door, of course, opening up to the bathroom area where you have your beautiful vanity basin. Of course, your mirror with the LED light all around this, your beautiful WC and your enclosed shower. And one thing I must note, and I think I didn't add that, if you look upstream the ceiling of the bathroom area, you have a, you have a strap light right there. And that's quite beautiful. It's nice. Now let's continue our tour. So I get to show you the other standard bedroom up at the first level. All right. So this is the bedroom three. Okay. So you've also got about 15. No, I think there's about 14 meters square because it's a bit sizable than the, than the second one we're coming up from. You've also got your wall to wall. Okay. Inbuilt wardrobe space or your closet area spanning almost to the ceiling okay and you've got ample windows bringing in natural daylight into the premises the same pattern of ceiling which i think is beautiful i love the whole concept and then right up on this level you've got this glass you know uh, translucent door that actually brings you to its bathroom i love the towel you know combination it's actually complementing itself you basically have the same thing as the rooms that we've taught um, recently your enclosed shower your beautiful vanity basin and that is nice i love it now let's continue our tour so i get to show you the primary bedroom one of the reasons why i love the idea of having uh, a family area is that you can actually enjoy some level of privacy in case you have a visitor in the main you know living area or boys boys we can use that to do a game room yeah i almost forgot let me show you something okay so we've got this door opening up to your home office space come let me show you whoa so if you're a fan of working from home you can actually enjoy working in this space you know i love the ambience i love the entire space it's quite spacious to get to do lots of things without necessarily having to go to the office isn't that cool i call my secretary right here <laughs> i love it so you've also got ample window bringing in natural daylight into the premises and that's a very very beautiful thing now let me walk you into the primary bedroom extremely spacious you have luxury of about 30 meter square area of primary bedroom space to get to you know arrange and get to do one or two things in this space very beautiful i love it i mean you can have your bed you can also have a set of furniture you can also have a tv right here and then you get to enjoy the whole space if you look up the ceiling level you also have the same Parting, but just a little bit different from the one that we are coming up from and secondly i love the idea of this um this black 60 by 60 tender strike towel okay which is pretty different from the one on the floor it's i think it's almost the same idea as the living area and it complements so well very nice you've also got ample window space bringing in natural daylight into the premises and up on this area, okay, you've got this beautifully brown polished wooden door taking you to the balcony area. Cool, right? I mean, from here, you get to see your surrounding neighboring environment. Now, let's continue our tour. So, we're continuing our tour. So, I get to show you the primary bedroom um, closet area as well as the bathroom area. Now, on this area, you've got two doors. One of them takes you to the closet area and one of them also takes you to the bathroom area. So you've got this opening with no door actually. That leads you to the, you know, the closet area. So you basically have uh, an inbuilt closet area on both sides, okay, to put in lots of your thing. Now up on this level, we've got a transparent door, glass door, that actually ushers you into the 
primary bedroom bathroom you've got quite an ample space you've got a bathtub and you've got a square wc I and mean, come take a look at this i mean square wc that's quite beautiful and then you have a very nice uh, single you know single person bathtub right here I and mean, the way you get to you know have some coolness of you know washing down and having a very beautiful time and now on this area you've got an enclosed shower cubicle with a square telephone shower right here a silver square telephone shower and i think that is nice cool everything in here is brand new so you've also got a twin vanity i mean twin floating vanity basin with of course a mirror i mean it comes along with a mirror and all that and you've got uh, a shower niche to get to put your bathroom things and all that great so we've come to the end of this property tour if you're interested to acquire this four bedroom modern house situated inside one of ghana's prime area Ajin Ghana to be precise kindly contact the numbers that you see on your screen or you could check the description of this video as we're going to have everything pertaining the property the, the price the location everything that you need to know will definitely be in the description of this video if this is your first time chancing upon our video do make sure to click the red subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified anytime we post a great property deal right here in ghana and beyond peace until next time catch you on our next video adios